Welcome to the Empire Brothers Rampant and welcome back to a new campaign that I'm going to be starting again today where thanks to uh, horrible timing I have to restart my Teutonic Order campaign where we had a really good start, we learned quite a bit, but now since my save is broken we have to restart where at this point in time we have a lot of more information on how we want to go about this campaign. So if you guys are enjoying this, feel free to let me know down in the comments down below how you feel about this campaign. Give the algorithm its stupid sacrifices and let me know that you're enjoying this. Again, oh, I'm not doing any challenges. I'm going to go over the victory conditions again just once more so everybody's aware and on the same page as we start this campaign. We will be trying to focus on the military victory slash divine triumph kind of aspect of this, which means we have to control a lot of Russia, basically. We also uh, have bonuses to our unique military order. We reduce re recruitment cost and upkeep for uh, area recruitment units. And we have more money from trade and commerce and then increased uh, public order penalties because of other religions. So that's something that we're gonna have to deal with, which is gonna be fun. But going into this today right now, so because I have to restart this campaign um, and uh, we've learned quite a bit on, on the start of the Teutonics. There are a couple options that I think we can kind of go about. Sadly, this update did not include the uh, expanded map stuff, sadly. Um, there was uh, supposed to be a visual overhaul of the Teutonic units, it looked like. Um, that's supposed to be one aspect of the um, update. So that'll be kind of cool. We'll have to look at our new units. But for the most part, things are kind of about the same. But we now have a better idea on how we're going to be going about this campaign. And we have two options that I see it. So one thing, what happened last time, is I was at war with a lot of these assholes in the Holy Roman Empire. Most likely because I was taking lands from the Holy Roman Empire. And that just started kicking the fucking hornet's nest. Um, I decided to double check it and see what terrain and what land is considered under the Holy Roman Empire. This is not, this is not, and then it is, uh, Hamburg is, but everything else around here is not. And right now, I start out initially, I am trading with you guys, you guys, and then also Sweden. That does make me a lot of money, but also I don't know how long that's going to last. I'm gonna, Sicily, you fuckers, I swear to God you better not declare war on me like you did last time. So, one option we have is, for me, I could try and go about... Okay, well, first and foremost, the start of the uh, campaign, we have to get recruiting. So, we need to get some more troops. I want us to get more of our crossbows in here as well. Um, we don't have a lot of guys around here, just the population is just really low. I would like to have it so Cav can do amazing things. I want to make sure I emphasize a lot of my Cav. I can get, like, three units right away. Let's get some of my Cav. These are good units. If I have a lot of cav, not a lot of everything else, that's okay. Um, Technology-wise, I am going to want to have it so... Justinless tower damage. Yeah, because I will eventually want to be able to get this. We're probably going to focus more on our economic stuff initially, especially the stuff that's state religion. We need to be able to try and convert to these areas as quickly as possible, the best we can. Um, I do hate that I'm going to ba barely be making money once I get all that. But basically... So, my war weariness, we're going to have to be careful about that, because I want to make sure that we don't get people to declare war on me. But one thing I'm tempted to do is... Okay. Going over to these territories, I could do that. These territories over here are always going to be harder to take than coastal cities. And so, I am kind of leaning towards the idea of... We could break my, alliance, my, break my trade agreements with these guys... And we could go over here and start trying to just claim this territory immediately. Because I'm not going... It's going to be more difficult to claim these territories. And it's going to cause a lot of uh, public order issues initially. I think I'm actually leaning... Also, I liked when I was controlling all this shit, honestly. I made so much money from the coastal stuff. I want that again. So I think what I'm going to do is I want to try and see you if... Let me see if I can trade you guys. I, cannot. I want to try and see if I can maybe get you guys to like me and not want to go to war with me. You guys are allied together as well, so I don't really want to go over here. Um, so I would say, let me try and just... I'm going to offer a small little payment to you. And then also, I'm going to offer a small little payment to you. Just a small amount to each of you. And then I want to see, is there anything you, you guys welcome. would accept? All or is it going to have to be that you have to wait until next turn? Because it's supposed to be the turn, the start of the next turn is when they'll actually acknowledge everything that just happened this turn. So I think we might just go with that for right now. My lord, I do need to have it, so I do need to try and be married. So let's try and uh, seek a wife. We're going to try and do that. 
and then hi widow i remember you you piece of shit i am not going to make the same mistake twice and let you be a governor of my fucking territories so let's have um some friends some friends here i need you to be the governor of livonia you got a decent amount of uh of, of uh, oh my god of loyalty and then i need you to get the growth commerce and uh, agricultural stuff to do that and then for the most part right now i do want to have it so we're going to focus on trading docs quite a bit we're gonna be doing that. I should. I want to save up for this if I can, because that will allow me to get crossbows. For right now, though, we're just focusing on just these guys. Although, if I am gonna go for attacking you, I need more infantry. I'm kind of expecting like you guys are gonna want to declare war on me. If you do, it's better to have some more cav for the open field. Yeah, because I know for sure we're going to be sitting here for quite a while, as I want to try and make sure that this area is going to be happy. The conversion of this area is a paramount right now, just because it's so pissed off, so we are going to have to sit here for quite a bit. We'll use that time to try and build up our forces and get ready to be able to kind of push out of here. Uh, we have that edict issued, and then you guys are at war. Let's see, this is why I want to see if I can go to war with the Duchy of Pomerania. So now, let's try and see, since I gave you guys that money last turn. Because you guys should start liking me a bit more. You like the gifts. Cultural version is the biggest issue. But I'm just wondering, can I get trade with you? Or, if anything, just non-aggression? That's low. If I tried offering a payment? Just curious. That's actually moderate. I'm not spending 2400 k for that. 2400 for that. Um, so what we're going to do is we'll just be recruiting. And then I wanted to see. If I get an opportunity where I see that you guys are fighting. And like you move that army out of there. I'm just totally going to hit this city. Because I think it's better to be a bit more aggressive right now. So I'll be trying to do that. Um, and for the most part right now... I just hate that like that. Like, religious difference is the biggest issue. So, like, it's going down slowly. But we're going to be sitting here for quite a bit trying to improve that. Is our premium non-aggression fact if I know what happened last time? If I can keep you guys... No. No, I want to go to war over here. I want to. I, I just... It's... Until I get siege equipment, attacking uh, cities with walls is a pain in the ass. Absolute pain in the ass. I know eventually I'm going to want to get some axemen to be able to break down my gates a bit more easily. But until I have siege equipment, it's a pain in the ass to attack cities with walls. I love attacking cities coastally. And so that is something that I really want to possibly try and do. Because like you guys are at war there. Because I'm going to be trying to take advantage of that. And then let's see, I make a little bit more money. So we could save it. But also, I think we should try and get a little bit more infantry. These guys have an upkeep of 249. Uh, 180. So I can get two of you. Yeah, I can get two Axemen. And then that's probably all we're going to be able to do and still barely make money. So we'll start trying to just save up cash a little bit for a couple turns. And try and see if I can take advantage of this war here, especially. Because if I see you move, I'm immediately going towards your city. I'm taking it. Because that is the easiest way for me to expand... I could take this city from the Duchy of Lithuania, but it's not as it's a lot harder to take walled cities, especially with the forces I have. If I can lure people out of cities, it's not that bad. But we'll be sitting here at least for two turns. Once I declare war on that uh, army, though, I would lose all my, tra my trade with them, and I would be losing money. So we'd want to make sure that if we're going over here, it is to make sure that we are taking that city. So we'll be sitting here at least two turns. If you move... I'm making my way over here. Although, with the garrison, I even still think I can still win that. Just because I've been able to do some pretty good damage before with coastal cities. Um, and take our, uh, I take out forces way larger because usually they kind of... it just They let me go to the city center and just take it. Yeah, because right now it looks like... Uh, let's see. You guys are at war now, too. So you guys are going to war. That's good for us. Still waiting for more stuff around here. At least right now I'm just gathering money together. We're trying to gather a bunch of money together. I'm hoping that I see that army move out of there. I know for right now, I wish I had an agent, but I do not have any ways to recruit them right now um, at this point in time. So we'll have to just kind of go with the information that we have right now. I do want to keep trying to just talk to you guys every once in a while. They like the gifts I gave you guys. Is deteriorating. So I could try and give you guys a little bit more, but I also want to try and make sure I keep my money... Be like a it's non-aggression pack. No. Trade. No. Yeah, you guys just don't like me at all. Like, if I gave you guys a little bit more money, maybe you'd be possibly open to uh, maybe trading with me or whatnot. But I think for right now, just keep sitting, keep waiting. Um, if anything, we need just to get this public order up. 
Once the public order is up, then we don't have to worry as much. I could try and have it like I slowly pay, save up for this. But then if I want to do that, I maybe should start, try and... I could wait. Because if I build this area up before we try and leave here, it gives more public order, gives more conversion. Um, it gives me other defenses, lets me recruit crossbows. Um, all around pretty good. It just costs 7,500, which is quite a bit. Because these guys, how much do they cost to recruit? They cost, okay, I'd get 1,000 back. I'd be at 4,000. And then I'd still be making 300 per turn. Because once I get these guys, I'm going to be making, like, nothing. I'll be making 12 per turn. Um, but then also it's, like, whether or not I want to jump you guys sooner and later. It depends, like, when are you guys going to do something with that army. But I could just grab you guys, make my way over, just go fucking balls to the wall and just attack their city, like, right now. Could, could try and do that. You guys are at negative... Oh, getting the more troops does allow me to also make it so this area will be converted faster. At least we'll get more public order because of the large army. Ah, now you're offering me money for it, too. Do you not think that's a fine prospect? As I would like to, because last time I wanted to keep you guys liking me. I'm tempted. I, fuck, I'll say you're paying me money now. That's gonna mean you guys are gonna like me more. So this is kind of leaning me more towards the uh, war with Lithuania and everybody. If anything at all, I know the guys to the south of me right now are at war with the forces of Pomerania. I can take advantage of that. I can take advantage of those wars. So let's see. So for right now, I am losing money. Damn it. Um, I'm supposed to be barely making money. Okay, well, oh, it's because, I think it's because of that. Yeah, it's the tax rate reduction. Okay, so it's net minus two right now. If we can get that positive, I will be making money again. Because it's just, this is the reason why we're not getting anything right now. So we just need to sit here for a little bit longer. We need to just, we've got an army. Now I want to do stuff with this army. But I cannot do anything until this area is happy. And like, right now, it's six turns until this finishes up. And then we'll convert even faster. Because I really feel like for right now, uh, the Maritime Commerce stuff will be nice to grab at some point. I'm going to be putting a lot of stuff over here, especially because I know, yeah, the physician, that is my sanitation building. But also provides me with more research rate, which is pretty nice. Because how much is it converting each turn? Yay, there we go. I'm only losing one per turn right now. Because um, right now, conversion-wise, it is 2.3%. So it is going up, slowly but surely. We just need to get this positive, and I think it'll be getting there soon. Um, a Worthy Bride. This is for Franz. Um, minus cunning for you. Um, I need to make sure I have plenty of influence. So I will give my blessing for right now. I'll give you blessing for now. And then also you increase in rank, which will help us a little bit. Um, Conrad's doing well. What's my wife's trait here? Mine's authority for me. I'm not being a governor though, so that should be okay, I would say. That should be fine. Um, for right now though, I did get that rank up on my dude, which... Again, as long as you're loyal, I don't mind ranking you up. So for you, you're a governor. You need to get more authority. Wait, did that just decrease your other stats? No, okay. Um, yeah, get more authority there because that will help you out as a governor and makes us positive right now. There we go. Because if we can get this up again into the green, we'll start making more money again. Um, and then besides that right now, uh, there was one other thing I wanted to check. I did want to see, so... Yeah, you're not able to do it right now. Uh, currently, he is 35. So he does have... Why is he not able to go over here? Oh, it's just the influence cost. Yeah, because I do want you to go get that. Because that will get you more public order and more in uh, income from uh, agriculture right now. Which would be really nice for us. Now, I do wonder, did you guys go out of that city? They did. Fuck, I want to go over there. <sighs> I was like, this is now just barely going up. I need to get their religious differences down. I need to get that down. I'm still losing money slowly. Fifth Crusade has started. Oh, fuck. Yeah, more... mm. I want to go over there. Because it's... Vol fuck it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Stop being a pansy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go over here. It'll take a... Next turn. Next turn we go. Oh, technically we need one more turn after that. Okay, so two turns. This area is going to go down. Minus 12 right now. Uh, Garrison is okay. I'm gonna hope you're just not attacked right now because <laughs> fuck, it, it will start improving. Yeah, I'm just losing money right now. But uh, fuck it. We're, yeah, we're just gonna go over here. 
I just want to take this territory. <laughs> I just want it. Because I know these territories are really good for me. I know, like, over here, I would like to have artillery before we start trying to push on in there. And seeing as how they haven't declared war on me just yet, let's just go be ballsy. Why not? Okay, now you guys know. I'm not paying you. I'm losing money right now. I'm not paying for non-aggression pact. No. I am okay being paid for a non-aggression pact. Like, Sweden right now, we can be chill. Me and Sweden can be chill. Although, me attacking uh, Pomerania might piss them off. We'll have to see about that. As long as they don't bring their army back, I'm going for this city. Because I want it. They're at war with two people right now. And I want to take advantage of that war. Let's see. So, right now... Yep, still nothing there. Don't mind me at fucking all. Don't mind me at fucking all. As I'm just sailing into your fucking port. <laughs> I'm just worried about this area rebelling before I get back. Because uh, I know at least like the public order is going to be pretty good over here, for the most part. Seeing as how these territories are my own religion. So, that should be fine. That's the hope, at least. Otherwise, like, I have nothing else I can do besides, like, uh, as my governor gets better, like, he'll be able to help out a little bit more over there. He still can't do anything around there right now with that. Because at the moment, you are still ranked 2. Because if I can get you to here, hey, that'll give me more public orders. So and the next rank up, you'll get a little bit more for that. I don't have any household items right now to help uh, out with public order or sanitation or anything like that, sadly. Oh, look at that. You guys have decided to break your uh, trade agreement with me. Also, I'm trying to remember if you will uh, lure in Denmark with my war against you guys. But hey, uh, perfect timing. I was about to do that anyways, so that's good. Faction encountered. Uh, you guys, yep, you took out Lithuania. Just like last time. Yep, that's not surprising. Um, can I? Keep. you guys liked me last time. Can you like me again? Trade agreement, no. Uh, I'm not opposed to offering you money. Because if I can get you guys to like me like you did last time, that'd be great. So let me just offer you a small payment. Just a small little gift. And I wonder if that'll get me trade, maybe. No, still. Okay, we'll just offer it just as a, just as a gift. Just to get you guys to try and like me a little bit more. Okay. Because we're going to go here. Hi. Hi, guys. Don't mind me. Denmark, please not. Uh, you, you broke the treaty with me. Fuck it. <laughs> Everyone's going to hate me anyways, just like last time. Let's go. We're more proactive in this campaign. Let's see if it's going to work out better. I'm going to hope it does. Because last time I proved I was able to do a lot of damage with my forces... My, uh, my cavalry, especially, if I utilize them out in the open field, I can do a lot of damage. So, ideally, what we're going to do is let's avoid fighting anybody that is in the Holy Roman Empire. Um, so, we're going to avoid Hamburg. And I just want to make sure that, if anything, I only take the territories that are outside of the Holy Roman Empire, but still have coasts. So, like, this territory, Poznan, those should be fine. Um, the settlement west of, Paz of Palestine is in the Holy Roman Empire, so we have to avoid that. Um, then we need to make sure that, like, Sweden, they might break their agreement with me. Uh, we'll pro I, I, I probably will want to take out Sweden and Denmark. Denmark I am now at war with, so we have a reason to go after them, try and take all of their land, and uh, control all these areas again for the ports. Because I really want to focus on getting my trade up ridiculously as the uh, Teutonic Order. Because I find that just really interesting. I focus so much on cultural income in my uh, campaign as the Holy Roman Empire, and not as the Holy Roman Empire, as the Byzantine Empire. This one, I want to really focus on trade, because there's a lot I can do to boost my trade income. So, like, for right here, uh, let's try and get rid of this rain first. There we go, perfect. And then what we're going to want to do is, so... Yeah, we'll have my cav over back here for right now. You guys right there. Have these guys... Make your way to the uh, port. So start the battle. Let's move you guys forward. And I am curious, because there was supposed to be a revamp of units for the 2-9 quarter. I wonder how much of them look different. Let's see. So these are my crossbows. My crossbows look about the same. My infantry looks different. My infantry does look different. Axemen, they look about the same. So it looks like my, I think my swordsman changed. Um, what about my cavalry? So my cavalry. 
You guys, I think, look... I think they look about the same. I'm like, get closer to the fucking ground for some reason. There's, like, slight changes. Um, but, you know, so we'll let you guys, for the most part right now... You guys need to disembark. I'll try and have it so that for right now... I want to get my cab in here at some point. Um, for right now, we want to try and see if we can just, yeah, focus on taking the port, and then distract the troops, lure them away from the walls, get my cab to try and run on in here, and then help out. Because bounce power-wise, we do actually have a pretty good chance right now. Alrighty, we're disembarking. So, my crossbows are in range, trying to have it so that you guys are close enough to be able to try and help. Uh, try and get my axeman here to help flank. You're going to start trying to take out this tower. So, their crossbows. I know there's also supposed to be one thing I saw from the patch notes, is there's supposed to be a new crossbow animation. It does... Yeah, because before I think it was very static, and I think they're now doing a far more fluid. Yep, just get just get in the boat's ass there. Yep, just just try and shoot through that. Uh, you here? I really want you to go after these crossbows. Yeah, I'll try and go after these guys while they're just chilling there. I can have you flank here. I want to take the tower up, but it's not doing a ton of damage. So that should be okay. Uh, you're taking some damage there. Oh, from these crossbows. Yeah, trying to turn fire into that crossbow. You get over here. I think I can now have my cav. Try and break down the gates. They don't have the crossbows over here now. So I now feel safe bringing you guys over there. This guy. Since you're surrounded by my axemen and my swordsmen, you should die here rather quickly. Yeah, he already feels like he's losing decisively. So take him out. Then we'll have to start trying to take out this tower. Uh, actually, I won't try here with you guys if I can. These guys are slowly disembarking. The crossbows are taking a lot of damage right here from their crossbows, which is not the best. I'll see if I can try and get you to go over there and deal with it. This guy's about to shatter, so I don't think we have to worry about him. Cav is almost here. You're losing that fight there. I do need to send some reinforcements over there soon. But I do need somebody to stop you. My crossbowmen are taking some damage. You are doing some damage now, but yeah, you run over here, try and get them to just run back away from them, if possible. You guys don't have shields, though, which isn't the best. Okay, you guys just get on there. You're wavering. Uh, I'm gonna try and see if I can disembark you. Okay, you just keep trying to distract these guys, just keep getting them to run away. You will disembark in a second. These guys broke them. Okay, so now go give some support over here. Uh, I think the swordsman... Uh, let's have you go capture the tower. The Axemen, you actually have armor piercing, so you can try and help out a little bit more against the cab, the cab units. Let's see. Gates. They're taking damage. It's going to take a while to break that down, but once you guys are in, we can have you guys go after their skirmishers. Yeah, take this tower out. You go up flank over here. You actually got the melee of these skirmishers, so that's actually pretty good, because you should be able to win, I hope, against those guys. You're going to take this tower out. Crossbows are trying to disembark. Um, you guys both didn't disembark there. Then probably have you get that tower over there. Or probably just help out over here. This area could use some support. They did pull that one crossbow back, so we'll have to make sure that we go after him in a second. This down. Yeah, you're winning over there really nicely, at least. I will have you go over here. Trying to help out against some spearmen there. Oh, you guys have actually been pushed in there. Yeah, we did take out the tower the gates. Okay, there we go. So you should be able to win against the spearmen, I hope. Yeah, you broke. That's what I was kind of concerned about. Yeah, no. Get on in there. Try and help out with this section. Yeah, you're winning that fight there. Crossbow. One of them, at least, is now disembarked. All of you try and help out over here. Try and focus on those cav. These guys. Yeah, you're winning there. So you should slowly be able to win that fight number-wise. Still about the same ratio. We still outnumber them by about like 200 guys. As long as I don't lose any of my units, I am pretty happy about how this is going. God, my axemen are not doing the best in some regards. Like, you've actually won over here. You won against those uh, crossbows. I'm going to pull you back now because I don't want you being shot at. Uh, this unit here, oh, I don't want you being attacked by those cab units, please. You try and get back over here. Yeah, try and hit this guy. Try and finish him off. My cab have almost pushed through here. They bro almost pushed through one of them. I need to, like, flank that unit if I possibly can. You guys doing okay. Yeah, finish out this uh, cab unit, please. Because it's trying to make sure that none of my guys actually die. 
As long as they just withdraw and we don't lose them, that's okay. That's the main concern. Yeah, try and finish. There we go. So finish him off. You get back over here. You guys are trying to angle to help out with this spot. Specifically just the cross the spearmen. Because once these spearmen are dead, I can run in here with my cab and pretty easily win the fight. Now you gotta pull back. Don't my lord to be in melee here. Be yeah, crossbows. Try and focus on this spearman. Try and focus on them. They're they're doing pretty well right now, so we're gonna want to try and soften them up. There you go. Yeah, right there. Why is it? We still have a 200 man lead. We've been keeping that 200 man lead. There we go. So now that guy's shattered. Cav, focus on this guy. Uh, what are you doing? You are going the wrong way, motherfucker. So you need to get over here. Let's see crossbows. Yeah, that guy's wavering, so he should shatter soon. Infantry. Yeah, you're somehow this guy's still alive. So try and finish him off. This guy broke there. There we go. And we can have you guys finish off this crossbowman. Yeah, so finish them off. Number wise, still a two man difference. Get all my infantry over here, finish them off. And then I need to have my crossbows. I would like for you to try and hit the general's bodyguard. If you can. So for right now, though, we'll, we'll kind of hold off, though, a little bit. I need to make sure we take out these crossbows first. Because you're almost dead. There we go. Let's then go hit this one next. Infantry. Let's do this. Infantry over here. Crossbows right here. And we want to get an angle to just try and shoot the general's bodyguard. Cav, you'll focus on taking out their crossbows here. And then they only have about 150 guys total. This unit's 98 of that. So they've got like one more unit somewhere. I don't know where. Is it just this guy? He's got... Oh, he's got 60. Yeah, so it's him. Yeah, tower's still shooting us, but that's okay. Just need to get my men in position. Damn. Crossbow should die pretty quickly. Or we said that my crossbow should be... Should, yeah. Oh my god. The crossbow should be taken out pretty quickly. Uh, these guys here... Start slowly making my way forward. Look at the morale, because we do need that morale bonus right now. Come on. Go. Crossbow's move forward. Okay. That crossbow of theirs is now out of the fight. Let's now try and... Yeah, I should just go for you. Uh, you don't join in there. You're a little too beat up. So you pull back. You're not joining on in the fray. Everybody else should be okay. Uh, that guy came back. Can you not? I don't think we have to worry about you. You only have 40 guys right now. Crossbows. You're trying to just kind of soften up the general's bodyguard. And then with my cav here together to help out... He should be dead any second now. It's 40 guys there. You're doing good. Took a lot of damage here. 82 guys left. We're about to capture the point, though. I think this is going to be worth it, though. I, I will make up for the trade lost with me taking this city. So with me taking this city, I'll be making a little bit more money. I'm at war with Denmark uh, now, which is going to be fun to try and figure out and deal with. Hopefully. Uh, they're not going to be that bad. As, like, as long as I can get some replenishment and recovery. We did a pretty good amount of damage around here. I need some more crossbows. Um, I need to get... I want two more swordsmen. I want two more crossbows. I really liked the setup I had for my army in the previous campaign. Where I had two axemen. I had uh, four units of swords. Five crossbows. And the rest was just cavalry. I like that setup. And my guys all survived. There we go. Occupy that. And I'm making money. Then we just need to repair everything. C square. Honestly, all this is pretty good. Uh, this is the chapel. So if we actually upgraded this to... Well, I don't have it right now. But I do want to try and get a priest. Oh, no, we just have to switch it over to this one. Yeah, I'd, I'd want to switch it over to that one so we can get a priest. Because if I can get a priest, that will help us with public order. Especially with conversion. So, this as soon as I can... Also, my trade is broken with Denmark, too. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then... Oh, you guys took Poznan. Oh, shit. I wonder. Well, no, it won't consider. It won't be considered until next turn. Next turn, we could try and offer them a peace treaty, but I do want that city. Just depends on, like, how much uh, they've got over there. Uh, for you, I want to get... So... Our integrity is always really bad with this faction. Um... I do want to get more campaign movement range. Yeah, let's go get towards the campaign movement range there. And then 
I don't make enough money to recruit more right now, but I would be able to get some more crossbows when we are able to do so. Okay. Uh, if I still see Celestia. My papal favor increased. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, okay. I was like, wait, did, did you guys want me to attack these guys? No, they, they did not want me to, but there we go. So at least you just need to repair this stuff, start trying to recover. I would like, if I can, to be able to take Poznan. I'm a little beat up, so we will have to take some time to recover. And hopefully, I can know this is area that I'm still really concerned about. It's minus 11 right now. Next turn, I could try and see if I can give you guys a ceasefire after I took this one city from you. And then maybe kind of reveal use that as a time to recover a little bit more. Also, don't want to forget that I do actually have no another governor now that we took this territory. I would say, let's see, so who's a good one for this? Not Widow, fuck you. Um, Emik. Emik? Emik? Culture buildings. I don't have any culture buildings in here, but otherwise it's Defender. And then Widow, I just don't fucking trust. No. The immortal asshole is not going to be given a chance to try and do anything. So let's have you. And then I need to go with the growth and commerce stuff. So let's go with that. Because at least right now, we're making a little bit of money. We just need to make sure we grow these territories and start slowly gathering some more cash to be able to try and field a full stack army. Already. Hell yeah. Um, okay, so what we're going to do... So we've got that edict there. That'll help out with us now. Um, this area is going up. Yep, plus five already, which is good. Instability is a little bit... This is at minus ten right now. Let's see... Again, I want to try and see if you guys will maybe... Greetings in the name slow. Of the state and so forth. Okay. So what I'm going to do is... I think we can hold off for right now. I think we can just kind of gather our money together. I'm going to get more replenishment. I'm going to wait out the winter. And then I want to try and see if we can go over here. I do need to try and convert this over. Oh, it costs so much. Oh, no. This is just the first level. So I need 6k. I would need 6k to upgrade that. Oh, that's painful. Okay. But I need a priest. I need I need a priest. A priest would help out so much right now. For right now, though, I actually think I might get more recruits. Because the 500 income per turn, I can get another... Well, I actually can't get the swordsman right here. I can get more crossbows. These guys cost 200 each. Got you guys, but you're weaker than these guys. And I want you! But I can't recruit those guys right now. We hunger for battle. I'd only be able to start one and one of you guys this turn. Okay, we'll, we'll hold off. Ah, yeah, there we go. There's the cinematic for the crusade! What if you guys would be successful this time? Probably not. Usually you guys fucking fail. duty to defend all that is holy. His Holiness the Pope has called a crusade to reclaim the Holy Lands from the infidel, who would deny Christian pilgrims their right to visit the holy places. It is time for the armies of Christendom to put aside their differences and unite under one banner, the sign of the cross, and give back God's children what is rightfully theirs, or die trying. They're all going to die. We, we already know this. Um, let's see, Imperial. Succession there. The Fifth Crusade for Cairo. Um, here's some peace there. You guys are at war. You're at war. And then we finish that. So we should have now faster conversion now. Um, let's see, construction costs. This is just in general reduction cost reduction. Should not be bad. More growth is always great. I think we might want to grab that first. It will take 10 turns. But this will make it so everything costs less. Uh, now get the growth first. Get the growth first. Um, we've been able to recover a little bit. I do want to try and step out a little bit for right now. I want to try and see. So they're currently chilling in the city. We've got a full garrison there. Full army. Okay. We're going to stay back for right now. Stay in the city. Keep recovering. I do see... Okay, I'm going to grab a lord here. Let's grab... Let's see. While defending... Yeah, let's do this. Matthias. We Grab you. Barely make money, but it's better. Instead of, what was it, minus nine right now? Yeah, it's minus six. Oh, minus six. So if we just get enough time, the area, especially now, we get more conversion. So we're almost the, we're the major religion here. Because we have how many turns until we rebel? Five turns. And if anything at all, you are now here. So you can now try and have it so that you will be the one to help out get rid of rebels if they attack. 
So we'll just do that for right now. And if I need to, I can bring you over here to have you help out over here with us. Because we can maybe use you to lure them out of Poznan, possibly. Um, for right now, though, you're still just trying to recover around here. And like this area, at least it's going public or, uh, positive in its public order. So I think we'll just be sitting here until we're fully recovered. I will possibly maybe get rid of you at some point, just so I can get like two more units over in this army. Because the closer I can get to a full stack, the better for us. <sighs> Let's see. So this is for friends. What the fuck, man? Pay him off. We have a lot of influence right now, so we're gonna go with that. Sweet. Ooh, interesting. You guys are now at war with each other. Okay, okay. I'm not opposed to that. Let's see, this is still minus six right here. I need to get some more guys for it to help out. Because I know right now. Like, we're almost there. The religious differences is so close. I'm hoping, because we'll get to about. We'll get 6%. So it'll be like 48% before be rebelling. We're probably gonna have to deal with at least one rebellion. Fuck. Let's see, so Sicily and Epirus are at war. Interesting. Still going up minus six. Ah, so you guys maybe go slow it down. I'm almost fully recovered here. Now that you guys are at war with Sweden, I'm curious if you guys are gonna move that army out. I'm just gonna keep checking every once in a while. Because if you move out of there, I'm not opposed to just trying to take this city immediately. Like, I'm not opposed to trying to do that. I know for right now, basically we'd be hoping over here is there's the rebellion, they attack us, and then I'm able to beat them back with this force here. With you and the garrison that we have. Because we've got a decent garrison. Um, I would hope that that would be enough to destroy that rebellion. And then hopefully that will help us slowly get into the green uh, public order wise. Let's see, another imperial succession uh, for the Holy Roman Empire. Girovna, rank gained. That would be for... This army, it's uh, the guys over Washington DC in this area. Good. I need you to rank up because that will give us more public order around you. So you grab that. And then also, I think I kind of want to hold off on getting too many of you guys. I do want to start maybe trying to see because at the moment, let's see. Loyalty, personal loyalty is five. Your personal loyalty is seven. So out of the two of you, I'd probably have you rank up, friends. Um, but I want to hold off because I don't want to give you too much influence. So we're going to hold off on that. Bohemia, Celestia are at war. So this is, okay, so it did slow down. It's at minus five now, but we're still going to have a rebellion. Um, I might have it so that just before the rebellion hits, I could try and grab... Oh, there's no mercenaries on here. Fuck! Okay, so we are going to have to deal with that rebellion. And then I want to have you stay in here. I want to check this area again, but like... Oh, it, they're definitely still in that city. Let's see, the Mongol invasion is coming, and yeah, we have that rebellion imminent around Livona here. I think we should be okay. If anything at all, I know, like, right here. I fully recovered now. They're still over here, aren't they? Yep, they are. They're just sitting there, menacingly. They're not doing anything. I do wonder if I can get the ce a ceasefire with them. I'll keep fighting just Denmark. Let's try and see. Come then. So, at the moment, it's still low. So, we'll hold off on that. Uh, over here, we're going to have that rebellion next turn. I don't have any mercenaries. I'm not going to be able to grab any troops. I'm just going to have to hope that you are enough, my good sir. Hopefully, Matthias is enough. If he is, uh, perfect. If not, then uh, they might see just, and I might have to try and, like, walk up north and go to help out. Because for right now, I could try and lure you guys into a fight. Let's see. I'm going to sit here. And then I'm going to be in fortify stance. I'm going to try and see if they try and attack me. Because if I could try and attack them, or if I could try and lure them into fighting me, they've got 17 units, I've got 13 here. I'm not in range of the city, so they might actually try and take the bait. Because if they fight me, given how much cav I have, I think I could probably win that fight. So they didn't do anything. They just sat there, stared at me, and didn't do shit. Okay. Um, we do now have... Let's see, so... It's not that bad. They are taking attrition. They're in range of the city, though. So hopefully they don't run. They are going to run. Now they're way out of range. Let's see. I feel like... I need more to take you out. Although... Is this the general's bodyguard? Is it a cav or infantry? It's a cav unit. Commander. I wonder if you could win that. <laughs> or I could just recruit another guy after this. 
You guys are gonna take attrition. I think I'm gonna weaponize my fact that I get my generals killed so often. <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, let's just attack this. And, um, I'll recruit another general's bodyguard if he dies. <laughs> I'm just gonna... No, you know what? I should get Widow. Get Widow. Because let's just try and see, uh, if I charge in here, just go straight at them. Like, you get a good charge into some of their infantry. Um, maybe do as much damage as I possibly can. They're gonna take attrition from the winter. And then, if he survives, hey, awesome. If he doesn't, then just get another guy. <laughs> It saves me 500 gold per turn if I don't have you as a general's bodyguard now. Actually, you know what? I want to reduce the, the, the visibility. I actually want to have it so it's harder for them to see me. So, let's go here. So, let's see. So, this gives me... Yeah, we're going to try to activate that. Let's go. Let's get have our own, like, ride of the Rohirrim kind of moment here. Fuck it. No, the, the ride of Pelennor fields. As we charge forward for the Teutonagora. Our uh, Grand Master has given us a task, and we must complete it. So let's go. I'm gonna hope you guys don't fuck up. Because, hey, maybe this will actually go well. Maybe we will we'll, we'll have to see. Let's see. Oh, I can zoom in a little bit. As we're making our way over. Slowly but surely. So they just gotta have... Yeah, four searches in front. And yeah, we're outnumbered, but hey, our guys can do a good amount of damage with the charge. Let's see. We can also try and... Increasing a charge speed deceleration. Yeah, I'm hoping this does a good amount of damage. Because if you guys don't hit the skirmish cap, that's okay. I want you to then hit this the duple cap infantry in the uh, right here afterwards. So yeah, try and hit this guy. Ah, uh, you caught him. There you go. Yeah, fuck up that skirmisher cap. Absolutely. Oh yeah, there we go. So reform. That's reform. That actually worked out really well. So now they have the Jim's bodyguard. I'm worried about. The Spearman I'm worried about. The Axeman, actually, I might be able to lure away and single out. Because he's alone right now. They might brace. But if I can just form up, reform, get a wedge back up here, get a really nice wind up, get back into wedge formation. And while their turns, their backs are turned. Come on, right about there. Hi, guys. Oh, yeah, it looks like they're gonna brace. Fuck you and everything you stand for. Yeah, I take a good amount of damage right there. Yeah, if we do enough damage, I'm gonna wanna try. I wanna pull back. Yeah, I'll try and pull back if you can. I know usually that does a lot more damage in a till up. It's worth a shot. Joe's dead. Yep. I killed 73 guys. I take out that entire skirmisher cav unit. Now what I'm going to do is I'll just recruit another guy. Uh, put him in as a, another unit to try and watch over the city. And then uh, see what they do here. Because I want them to attack nearby the garrison. Because I just can't bring that guy me up. Yeah, he's dead. That's okay. You did well, Matthias. You tried. They're at least going to take attrition this turn. And uh, another... <laughs> Uh, Widow, yeah, fuck you, because you're the guy that was an asshole in the last campaign. So let's recruit you. At your command. There we go. So, you can watch over. Next turn, you can do something. But hey, we did damage. They are trying to recruit, technically. As otherwise, we could have tried to have it. I do wonder. Because you're just chilling there. I wonder if I can maybe... I'm going to try, try and go up that way. I'm gonna hope that maybe they'll let me go up here and get rid of the rebels and then come back down. Because public order wise, you guys are okay. And they said I have time if you guys decide to try and siege it. But I'm gonna hope you guys just don't advance into the city. Alrighty, let's see. Did you guys decide to. Oh, you are moving up around this way. <sighs> Even if they started sieging that city right now. Let's see. I could send Widow to his death, too. Um, you guys are going to keep just gaining more troops the longer you sit here. I think I kind of actually want to hit this army instead. Yeah, I'll send Widow to his death as well. 
to get revenge for the past campaign. <laughs> Leave none alive. Oh, this is so stupid, but hey, fuck it. Because I'll do this. I'm whittling them down. I am doing damage. We'll just hope that maybe we do more damage than last time. Um, because if I can, it's not bad. Um, and basically we'll just have it so that we'll just keep throwing these guys away, get another general's bodyguard to help watch over the city. I will try and see if we can hit that army of Pomerania now that they're out and away from their city. Uh, but yeah, you. Which formation gives us a really good initial charge. I'm gonna hope that maybe you guys will kind of spread out a little bit more. Otherwise, I think we're gonna try and, like, hit the general's bodyguard, maybe. So, like, try and run over here to the side. I'll try and have it so we can, like, try and see if we can hit him. We don't stand a chance. You can't do hit-and-run tactics as easy as you can in, like, Medieval 2. Otherwise, we could try and hit the, the Boyars. We're gonna do a good amount of damage to the Ducal Axemen. I think we should try and hit the General's Bodyguard. So, like, we're gonna try and go around him. We're gonna try and see if we can hit him in the back. Take out the General's Bodyguard. They're gonna try and rotate around, aren't they? Yeah, I think they're gonna try and rotate. If they're gonna try and rotate, then we're just gonna hit one of the cab units, I'd say. Probably you. So, like, let's go... Actually, no, let's hit this one. This one doesn't have the javelins near them. It does have the spears near them, though. Okay, go over the side a little bit more. Right about there. Now let's see what we can do. So we'll try and charge into this guy. See what damage we can do to you specifically. Because if I get the initial charge in... Don't try and pull him out this time. Let me have him just fight de to the death. And see, yeah, because if he tries to run away from me... No, I don't want to run, try and run. I want to try and run away from the spearmen if I can. So just a spear, we should be up, oh, and they char counter charged. Stay in the fight. General's dead, but they took a little bit longer to route. That's okay. Uh, got 17 guys. It's something. It's so stupid, but fuck it. Why not? Now we're gonna try and take out the army of Pomerania. And if anything, these rebels aren't attacking yet, so we're buying time, and I'm trying to do what damage we can. I wonder if the auto level do better than uh, me doing the battle myself. Maybe. I'm wasting money every time we do this, but hey, that's fine. Let's see, so what we'll do is uh, get one more. Uh, let's see, who, 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 who do we want to throw away this time? <laughs> um, oh, but I want the commercial building, so not you. Uh, this young dude, let's, let's grab you. <laughs> I'm being such an asshole today. Well, that's what I get. Like, I already kind of know, like, what's roughly going to be, like, the first video for this is going to be like. So, we're having a bit more fun with it being more aggressive. Uh, but, you know, let's now see. Can I fight this army? Please don't run. Please don't run. They're not going to run. Uh, this army here. Let's see. They've got a decent amount of cav, crossbows. I think we can win this, though. Oh, I should check for the mercenaries. That's okay, though. Because if we can take this army out, uh, we can then make my way over to Posidon and then take that. Might lose my capital. I hope not. But uh, it's possible. Because what I want to do is basically try and push into these guys as quickly as we can. So what we want to do is we need to lure... We need to deal with their calf first. If we take out their calf, I can win against everybody else. So let's get rid of this rain, please. First get rid of that. Come on, please. There we go. Then... They're just chilling up there. They only have three skirmishers. We got the two skirmisher cav. Okay, and then I've got my guys. So what we'll do is let's put you here. You guys off to the side. You guys off to the side here. And then I'll have my crossbows. And then we want to have you guys. I just realized I need one more cav unit in here to get the amount I want. Yeah, you guys there and there. And then we need to basically kind of slowly advance on them. So let's slowly kind of push our way forward here. We're going to try and get just barely into position to be able to shoot some of the units. Looks like they might advance onto us. But then basically we'll try and have my cab go around to the sides. Because we want to be just barely out of range of their skirmishers. Get my cab go around the sides, try and take out their cavalry. Once the cab is dead, the infantry is really easy to deal with. Alrighty, they're coming on in here. Going to get a good charge on my axemen. Tried to brace them if I could. Wasn't able to get you guys to get over there and hit them right now. That's okay. Crossbows. You're trying to focus on their skirmishers. This cab unit should die. And cab infantry took a lot of damage right there. Let's get you guys to kind of pull back here. We need to deal with their cavalry first. So this guy kind of spread out a little bit. He's kind of making his way over here. 
This guy is slowly dying there. Let's try and hit you now. And now, uh, you guys turn to back up a little bit more. Have a counter charge. Get him. Take him out. Cam unit did run through. But now, he'll, he'll, this guy's going to die soon. So he's about to die soon in a second there. This cab is also breaking. And if anything, technically we need to. I could try and have somebody withdraw after we do enough damage to the army. Because we are in my own territory. They are not. Let's see, they're in all their infantry now. Focus off this cab unit. This guy, just need to shatter him and then we'll pull back. Try and go after these two next. So for right now, crossbows. You guys need to kind of pull back a little bit. Come on, this guy's almost dead. He's literally just three guys. That unit's now fully down. Okay, let's now have it so you two go over here. You two go over here. Clean over those spearmen. Uh, careful there. We're charging into my men. Let's put you back there. Let's get my crossbows over here. Because I want to try and have you guys hit this section. These cav units, I'll have you try and support my infantry. These four will still continue to try and focus on their skirmishers and forces in the back here. So, like for right now, I think we should do over here, over here. Let's charge this axeman. These, cro these archers and crossbows will be out of the way in a second. And then we can try and focus on the general's bodyguard. But we definitely need to try and support my infantry over here. So, you guys try and give support there. You hold back. You try and hit defend. Try and hit this axeman here. Let's get you guys let them charge in. Then you now counter charge. Should be able to take this guy out. Number wise, we're taking about 300 casualties. Take taking about 400 casualties. So we're pulling it up in favor. Hey, you guys keep focusing on the general's bodyguard. You guys now come around here. So we need to get around the backside. Take out the general's bodyguard with my cavalry. Axeman broke. Hey, you guys keep giving support there. That guy shattered. Let's go around here. Bodyguard there. And these four. Again, we're going to have you, these three, I mean, are going to help out around here. So let's get you guys to kind of form up. Actually, I'll probably have you guys help out over here if I can. The infantry we can probably ignore for a little bit. We do need to try and see if we can get rid of Jones' bodyguard here. Like, you guys hit this guy. Hit this guy and the spearman. It's like one of you if you can. No, just focus on the uh, scam or skirmish calf. Focus them down, take them out. They should die pretty quickly. The General's Bodyguard is trying to run away. Keep chasing him. He's the 36 guys. Okay, crossbows are doing some good damage over here. Okay, that guy broke. Let's hit this crossbow. This is the Spearman first. Hit him. Single him out. Then we need to try and take out this crossbow, this archer, and the general. So I'm going to break in some of my infantry. That's kind of be expected, though. So yeah, shatter this guy. Come on, come on. Shatter him. Then we can safely run away. There we go. So these three. So if you go here, these guys go over towards that skirmisher. Uh, the general's bodyguard. Okay, so all my infantry is shattered. Uh, crossbows back up. Crossbows, you're going to back up. Try and have the axemen start taking position. Try and have them hold up here. And then you guys just try and get some distance, honestly. Because I'm not going to have you try and fight these guys. Just get some distance. Distract them, because we're going to have to take those guys out with my um, cavalry. So as soon as my cab is done with all of these guys, we can start focusing on their infantry. Got you three, which the Joe's bodyguard. These four take out this cab unit, this uh, archer unit. Yes, come on, if we have just my cab and just my skirmishers, we can win this. Yeah, you guys, just, 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 just run. Just run across the entire map right now, honestly. You guys, let's get back over here. Focus on the spearmen for now. I'm gonna get over here with my melee, my melee cab to try and charge them. So right about there, because we need to get this guy to break so we can move away. Come on, shatter, 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 shatter. I don't need you to completely break, but I just need you to get away. Get pull back now. We can't fight all those spearmen. So pull back. Get some distance. Just ignore them. We're going to get as far away from these guys as possible. Bring your general over, and we'll fight you in a second. Just keep running away for a second. Okay, now fight him. No, nope. back. Do not fight him. Enemy general's dead. Okay. Now, 
Let's go... We'll, we'll finish off the General's Bodyguard unit that they've got here. Go finish him off. Okay. Now, let's go regroup with our forces. Let these guys be uh, kind of... Ran just tire them out. Best we can. So we're going to go over here. Crossbows. Reform. I'll let you guys tire yourselves out. I'm going to get all the way over here. And just kind of relax and recover. Because my guys will be exhausted by the time they get there. Okay, so. They decided to stop advancing on me. I'm going to just move my crossbows slowly into position. And basically what we want to do right now is I want to have it so that if they start trying to go towards any of my crossbows, I then charge them with my cavalry. Because at this point in time, there's a they outnumber us a little bit still. But if I can get my crossbows just barely in range to start shooting them, and if they start trying to single out one of my crossbows, I can counter charge. Because individually, I can take out these units pretty easily. Because you guys can start opening fire. You guys, yeah, get up here. And also, I'm going to have you guys be in... Um, wedge formation, because you guys get a far stronger charge when you do that. So let you guys just start firing, do what damage you can, and it looks like right now they're actually focusing their attention over here. So if they do that, I can have you guys hit this side, because whatever side they focus their attention on, I hit the other. Because right now, we just need to get a couple shots in to break you guys. You guys go to wedge formation, just keep distracting them, they're running over here, so yeah, just kind of ignore them for right now. Hit these axemen here. You guys keep going around the back side. You now need to start backing up. And have you guys get a little bit closer to try and possibly hit this guy. You should be able to easily break them with this charge. See, you guys charge them. Oh, they're broken already. You gotta reform, reform, reform. Go back, go back, go back. You guys go right there. And then do have a skirmish mode on. So I want you guys to keep running. But, this guy's singled out. I'm gonna hit him. So these guys there. Because if we can single out one of these units at a time, we can easily take them out. I don't know why you guys aren't charging in there. there we go. go around the back side. This guy should die. You guys can rotate. Start trying to focus on other units. They get shattered. Keep trying to pull back. Crossbows back up. This guy is shattered. Okay. Let's get you guys to back up as well. Because so far, that's working. Uh, that is now way closer. Crossbows just gets formed up there. You guys keep just trying to do whatever damage you can. And I'll probably have you guys yeah, keep trying to charge in the wedge formation. It seems like you guys go around over this way. We need them to split off again. Because if they split off, that's when it's easier to try and hit them. Yeah, you guys stay in wedge formation. Kind of go here. This guy's next. You guys go to the side here. If you just keep running away. Yeah, we, we've won this now at this point. Now that we can split them off, as long as if I didn't have my crossbows, this would be a lot harder. Because that guy there, if he's shattered, he go back. Now there's just three units left. So you guys just kind of rotate over here a little bit more. We should only need like one or two more charges, and I should do this. You guys kind of back off a little bit more there. You guys get in wedge formation. Start trying to hit this guy. Oh, you two, no, you keep trying to hit him. You guys just keep distracting them to let them be shot at a little more. Take that guy. Good amount of damage. Okay, you go there. You go there. And you go there. I think that should finish them off. Yep. There we go. Now let's make sure there's like none of them left here too. So keep running them down just a little bit more. Pretty bloody battle, but I would say that's worth it. The bait and switch worked out wonderfully. So now... We'll probably be doing with this force. I should be what we're gonna be doing with this force is we will now recover. <laughs> Did my infantry survive? I think they they should have. My infantry should have survived. I don't I remember it saying, "Hey, you lost these units." If they didn't survive, I'll have to. I'll have to recruit new ones. Please tell me they survived. It looks like they did. Hell yeah, they did! Ah, oh, beautiful. Um, I know the Pope likes me if I do this, though. I want their replenishment, though. I'm gonna take the replenishment. Because at this point in time, it's far more important than trying to see if we can get some money from the Pope. Um, for right now, though... Armor for the Commander's Unit. I like that. 
just this one guy left. Let's see, so you get more campaign movement range. I can't hit these guys. You're not recovering either for some reason. Um, I can't even get to this guy right now. Okay. Hopefully you guys will recover. Um, it's going to be... F fuck, it's going to be fall next turn. That should be okay. But yeah, we'll basically probably be having this. So what we'll do is I'm probably going to have to turn around and uh, make my way over. I want to hit you, but we need to recover first. Uh, I guess we want to offer defensive alliance. I'm tempted to. You guys actually do really like me this time. But I want your land. Well, I'm going to hope you may be able to... I'll say yes, but I hope you get your ass kicked by Denmark, basically. So I'll accept it, but let's hope you get your ass kicked by Denmark. Because if you lose to Denmark, then I can take your territory anyways. But we'll accept it just because it's going to make you like me more, and other people that like you will like me more even more as well from that. Now please tell me it's not going to be winter. This is the one thing I hate about me turning off the uh, four turns per year mod is because like the the it, it, I wish the mod by default was four turns per year because it, it, the seasons are fucked up in the default version of the mod which kind of sucks because I think it's gonna be winter this turn technically even though it's supposed to be fall. Yep. I'm taking attrition. Okay, so I'm gonna finish you off. He's gonna run. He's going to run into another territory. I I have enough movement. I, won't be able, I want to get return punishment this turn, though. I could do this instead. So if I go... I'm just going to go into the city. That'll give me the most recovery. I want to make my way over here. I want to hit the city. Although, let's see if they'll give me a ceasefire. Because I need to deal with this rebellion. I destroyed Welcome, their forces. Hi. Yes. Okay. And let's ask, uh, force them to give me money. That is for us and so I can get probably maybe 1,500, I'm guessing. Let's see. Yeah, I can get I can get 1,500. So we'll come back for this later. But I will offer you that. I need to deal with this rebellion for right now. I will try and have it. So what we'll do is I need to recover here. I think... I think I need to make my way up here. We need to at least sit here for a turn. I'll sit here for a turn, then we can start trying to make my way up. Because this rebellion is getting a little strong, and I don't like the look of that. Ugh, it's not look good. Not good, but at least for right now. Let's do this. Let's see. Be at war with them. Action. I'm not going to be at war with them for right now. No way in hell. Let's see. So those guys are now dead down over there. Okay. Um, military investment. Yeah, now they're starting to siege us here. Let's see. Is it enough? Oh, we can just destroy this rebellion here. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. Just take the outers off. Get rid of these rebels immediately. I was worried that they were going to do more than that. Okay, so now we'll ransom it, get that money, and then you no longer need it up here. Uh, we need to repair this stuff, get rid of that devastation, but then you guys should be okay, I think. We're just losing money. I'm going to get rid of you. That way I'm making money. And we're still going up positively there. Perfect. And then uh, mission aborted. Okay. Wait, what? Okay. For a moment I was like, wait, what? Right. Okay. Uh, but you know, those guys are dead. But I'm Rika. But you know, for right now, I think this is a good time for us to be able to take advantage of the fact that now oh, that sword. Ooh, that needs to go on to you. Yeah, you need that sword to make it so that you can get, let's see, more influence. Wait, why? Do we lose it? Oh, no, that went to one of my other guys. Damn it. I wanted that to go to my lord. Okay. For right now, though, um, I need to recover. Once we repair this stuff, you guys should be okay around here. And then I think we're going to start trying to recruit more. Because I know it's mainly just the fact that I gave the devastation. And then I think the public order is also... Military crackdown is a big part of that. You guys be okay? Like, conversion-wise, you guys are doing better. Uh, well, it's because this is damaged. That's why. I will probably want to still send you back a little bit to go help out. But for right now, let's let's recover here. Keep getting some more men. But I really will want to start making my way over towards, like, Ross Gilded. Because I want to go hit that. They are making their way over here hard. So, like, I might be able to easily go jump over there and try and take that city. Uh, wait. Did my... Oh, my God. I already died. Seriously. <laughs> I lasted so long last time. Um... My son's not even of age yet. Let's just go with... 
No, I shouldn't do that. Yeah, you were spurned. I should have just gotten you killed. Uh, these are all bad. Okay, let's go with you. You're okay. Ready for battle. So you just keep watching over this army for right now. You guys are at war there. Got a regency. Because how... How old is he right now? So he's currently 15. Um, my daughter is actually the regent right now. Um, let's have you... I'm going to have you try and see... So I want to try and marry this guy because he's actually pretty loyal. Uh, you need, what, 30 points, was it? You need 30 points. You're at... Wait, why? Oh, he's already married. That's why. Okay, let's go with uh, Enric. Let's go with you. He's decent little as well, so let's have you try and marry into the family. My son should actually come of age soon. I'm kind of sad that my uh, leader didn't survive all that long. Um, but okay. Then, I do think... So, while we're sitting here recovering, I'm going to recruit some more units. I can grab some more crossbows. Grab those. Riga is doing so much better now. Yeah, plus seven. Um, I think the military crackdown is the main reason. Yeah, the religious differences is still a big issue. But you guys are back to it converting nicely. If I can save up enough money, though... Okay, so I could either... Let's see. I've got 2,000 right now. Is there any way I can get some more cash? No. Oh! Huh! I like that. That's new. Oh my god, I love that. Yeah, because the one thing we could do is, like, I, I need a priest at some point. And I think... I know, I should keep just recruiting those units. I want to make it so we have an easier time pushing into and taking more land from Denmark. Because Denmark is the next person we're going to be going after. I want to take our skill name. If we can go take that, I can then just get more money to be able to get a priest... God, I wish I could get convince people to just give me money. Well, actually, uh, what am I? It was my fable state is saying right now six, so it's not high enough right now that we could try and uh, get some money from the Pope. Because I, I just, I really need that. I desperately need that, as I'd gladly send it over to Riga right now. But for right now, let's keep recruiting, keep replenishing. By the time that we finish those recruits, we'll almost be fully replenished. Like the Axemen will be, my Cav will be almost. We probably want to sit a little bit longer because the I, I need to make sure my infantry is fully replenished before we advance in and take out city navally. Although, oh, it's not that bad. Actually, I think in the two turns we'd be okay. We finished up some more recent. Can you get some mercenary infants? Um, let's see. No marriage. So that went through. Perfect. So now we're gonna have a little bit more on um, the family tree there. Um, perfect. And now my son is a heir. I will have to get uh, of age. I mean, you'll have to now have get him married. I'm going to try and have him take over command of this army. I'd rather he lead this force um, instead. So to place you with... Oh, can I not? Is it because you're recruiting? He's 16. Weird. Um, mm, traits, household, and spouse, but only influence the ruler. Wife regent. Why is it not? Okay. It's just not having me the uh, the regency end yet. Interesting. That's got to be why. Okay. Well, over here, we've now got that, so we have a bit more growth in my territories. I will now save for research purposes. Let's go for the construction cost reduction here, I would say. I should probably just go for these. Go both for those. And then you're still recruiting around here. How are you guys doing public order wise over here? It's going up. It, it is. And the area is now starting to grow. Because if we can get the area to grow, I can then actually get something to help out with public order around here. So hopefully this will... So it's going down one per turn for the military crackdown. It's got about 12 turns until it goes away completely. And six turns it will stop. So, okay. We'll get a decent amount. Um, I need more money. Next turn, at least, I'm going to be probably having you guys move out. Because it looks like at the moment... Uh, you guys are distracted. I could easily go over to Rust Guild Day. I just need to get these extra crossbowmen, and then I can. Now, the one question is, is am I going to be able to maybe get... Oh, actually, there we go. Now he ascended to the throne. Okay, so now let me replace you. So let's replace you with my son, Conrad, who's actually a pretty good commander, actually. Oh, hell yeah. So let's have you do that. Then um, you can actually rank up. Hell yeah. So let's go there. Now, we're going to set sail, because we should be able to try and make my way over here. I want to see if we can take this before we end for today, because you should take no damage there. Sirius doing okay. Yeah, you guys are doing all right. You'll, you'll hold up. Um, you'll still be negative. 
But I think you'll be okay. It's still like several turns until it would actually try and crumple away. But for right now, let's try and make my way over here. I'm going to try and see if we can take raw skill date before we're done for today. Because I think that will be then the last thing we do for today. And uh, hey, this is a far more aggressive uh, start to this campaign than uh, my first playthrough. So in some regards, it's actually kind of beneficial that the uh, save broke. Alrighty, so we are now in range. Um, religious change for the Duchy of Lithuania. Interesting. So they're not Orthodox Christianity. Interesting. Um, one show's ready for duty. That's okay. But you guys did bring over a little bit here. Are they damaged? I think they might be damaged. Let's see. Because I want to hit this. I actually have Sweden to help out. Oh my god, yes. Yeah, they, they're not damaged, but no, I, I Sweden's here to help me, so let's do this. This is got almost very similar to what happened with the uh, previous campaign, actually, with Kiev now. So, let's get in here. This will be the last thing we do. We'll take our skill day here. Um, we need to have it, so basically, so they also have a force at sea. I'm hoping that that force, like, I'm going to ignore them. I don't want them to attack my fleet. I want my fleet to be able to just go into the city. Try and go towards the city center and capture the city. Um, I will hope that Sweden, uh, they, I want them to actually like really push on in. But we'll have to see like what they're going to do. Because I'm going to hope that the army right there, they just conquers. I'm going to hope they disembark. They can then, honestly, am I actually going to keep Sweden as an ally? I might actually this campaign. Because I would love to have their territory. But also, having somebody that actually likes me would be really fucking nice for once. I could also vassalize them too. I could do that. Um, let's get rid of this weather. Please get rid of the rain. There we go. So let's see. So my reinforcements are over here where my cab is. I'll actually have them support us. If they can break open a section, I get my cab in this way. Um, any reinforcements? I don't know where they're coming from. But what I'll do is I need my guys to go about here. Start the battle. Uh, they're right there. So please disembark near my cab. I actually don't mind that. I'm actually going to wait until I move you guys to see where these guys are disembarking. Because if you guys disembark over here, that's perfectly fine by me. Because then I can have it so my cab and my reinforcements uh, can help out. Because if they just don't disembark in the city. Because then I should be safe to start bringing you guys up this way. Because I want to disembark you all here. Because at the moment, I don't see many people around here. I'm going to disembark you guys first. Crossbows can kind of hold off for right now. Just get in position. But yeah, they're, they're definitely going over to this area. So Sweden, thank you for just rushing straight at the gates. God, why are you guys doing that? Uh, okay, well, I guess I'll be taking out the uh, garrison force here, that is, or the reinforcements here, with my cavalry. My men are disembarking. So do you have some skirmishers over here. So basically what we'll do is, as soon as the swordsmen are down, you'll be the ones that I try and have go over here. Axemen just go straight for the skirmisher. Straight for them. You guys try and get set up here. Because I want to have my crossbows in position to be able to shoot the general's bodyguard. And then I'm waiting for you guys to disembark. So far you haven't. Sweden is trying to rush over here. They uh, completely lost that one unit of theirs. Although, if honestly, I could just attack Sweden after the Denmark if I really wanted to. Next for right now. Hey, you're not doing anything. You're not catching up to them. Let's have you come over this way and just get rid of this tower if you possibly can. Or no, we don't even need to. We just need to make my way to the city center. So just make your way over here. If those guys come back, we'll deal with them. Crossbows are all disembarking. You get Denmark is distracted by Sweden. Crossbows. It's right here. And let's focus down the Jones bodyguard. And they're still not even disembarking yet. I do want to notice, though. Because I, I thought that I saw a better uh, reload animation for you guys before. Yeah, it looks like... I think that's smoother than the previous campaign. I believe so. But yeah, no. You guys start unloading into the King's Bodyguard. You guys can keep trying to focus on him. Axeman here. Yeah, that guy is kind of coming back around here. Just keep chasing him. Oh, they're now finally disembarking somebody. Well, let's get into position to charge this poor bastard. Because as soon as he's down on the ground, I'm just going to kill him. And keep doing that one at a time for the rest of his army. All of you guys, as soon as the general's dead. Which, you guys all firing at him at once. It shouldn't take too long to take him out. No, he's starting to take some damage. Infantry, I think I can have you guys shield wall, slowly make your way forward a little bit. I'm going to move some of you guys to get a better, slightly better angle. Keep chasing these guys. 
Because I want to try and see if we can get into melee with that unit. Most of their forces are over here right now, though, focusing on Sweden, so I'm not opposed to that. Get there. There. Now he's going to die a little faster. Yep, and here's this poor bastard. Just charge him immediately. Charge him. I was starting to just embark some of their uh, skirmishers, too, so we'll charge those guys as soon as they drop off as well. God, I'm just bullying this army. Sorry, Denmark. You really got. You really should have disembarked. If you would have disembarked, you would have had a way better chance to take out these forces here. Okay, that guy. Let's back up a little bit. Then I, when I can, I'll try and hit you guys. These crossbows can't hit him. Oh, that's why. He's now fighting my infantry. Let's see, Axemen. Yep, there we go. You got in a melee with them. Perfect. Okay, crossbows. He's dead now. There we go. He's shattered. Capture the city center. Alright, y'all. Like, you guys go over here. Crossbows, make your way up here. There we go. You guys. Oh, they're ignoring my cav. Oh my god. Why? That's so bad, guys. You should not be just ignoring my cavalry. Oh my god. Yeah, there we go. Okay, go off to the side here with you guys. All of these guys. Go off to the side here a little bit. We'll charge into this unit. And then try and take him out. So right about there. City center's almost under control. You guys have taken, uh, are just about to take this section. So I'll have you guys come on over here. Take this tower. Cavalry. If that guy's dead. Go for the skirmishers next. You three. Did that guy just instantly break? Oh, no, no, he didn't. Okay, beautiful. And if anything at all, I think even if they... Like, when we win this fight, I believe they will be destroyed no matter what. The reinforcing army that was in the fleet. Uh, in the port, I think. But, just in case, we can try and just make sure we destroy these guys. Because, like, right now, that's another one of you guys destroyed. Or my guys kind of go around the side before we hit this last guy. Okay, hit him. Cavalry. Around the sides. You guys look any different? Uh, doesn't look like it, but you know. Charge on in here. Flank these guys, number-wise. They really lost half their army. And we have the city center now at this point in time. We've got a couple guys over here. That doesn't really matter too much, though. At least Sweden did a pr uh, pretty good work there. There we go. They've now given up. Yeah, way more aggressive in this uh, first video as compared to my first version of it. But hey, that's what we get when we have a little bit more information about what's going on in the campaign map. Because now, I've been able to take two cities, as opposed to just one. We now have Roskilde, we have at least uh, Gdansk. I need to take Poznan. I still want that. And I'm debating if I want to betray and attack Sweden at some point. I, I, I'm leaning more towards doing so. And they did die. Perfect. So then let's occupy this territory. Fleet reporting. And there we go. So that was your first battle after you have now become my king. Need to then repair everything around here. Um, hey, this will allow me to get a priest. Hell yeah. Get the fairground. Uh, the blacksmith, I don't think I'm going to have it right now. But I will just get you your rank up, which I will get the uh, replenishment first. Get that. But no, I think this is going to be a, then a good place to end for today. We've done a lot more this time. Um, Strasselund, I don't... Next turn, I can try and offer them a ceasefire. I want to control this territory, but I don't want to kick the hornet's nest of the forces of uh, the Holy Roman Empire. Because I think that's what happened last time. Because it's like this territory here, it, not, not Greater Poland, is uh, considered a part of the Holy Roman Empire. And so they get authority by reclaiming those territories. And that's probably why all those guys kept attacking me. We could go with the idea that was brought up that I'd want to try and, like, vassalize those forces. So that way I don't have to deal with the Holy Roman Empire, but just vassalize all of them. And I'm not opposed to that. I could just have it so I try and reclaim all the land I had in the previous campaign, which is basically just this. And then, hey, we can then try and, like, vassalize these guys so they stop fighting me. Not a bad idea. Basically, it's, it's, it's us trying to just subjugate the Holy Roman Empire before we can properly focus on the East, which is when I start getting siege equipment and everything. I'm so sad I never got to test out the trebuchets. But I'm going to be done for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I love what you guys have to say about this campaign and your thoughts about it in general. This is Rampane. I'll see you guys next time.